Okay, let's find the derivative of this function. And our function is 1 over square root of 5 minus square root of x. And as you can see, it is a fraction. So we have numerator and denominator. And that means that means it is it is a division so we can use quotient rule here and quotient rule we have a formula for the quotient rule and it is d dx or f of x over g of x equals to denominator will be g of x squared numerator will be f prime of x times g of x minus g prime of x and f of times f of x so what is our f of x and what is our g of x so f of x so our f of x, f of x is the numerator, and numerator is 1. This is our f of x. Okay, what is our g of x? g of x is a denominator, and our denominator is square root of 5 minus square root of x. Okay, so we have f of x, we have g of x, okay, g of x, and now we need to find f prime of x and g of g prime of x, okay, so we need to find f prime of x and g prime of x, so this is our f of x, this is g of x, okay, what is f prime of x, f prime of x is a derivative of f of x, so derivative of 1. And what is the derivative of 1? Derivative of 1 is 0. Why it is 0? Because 1 is a constant number. So derivative of constant will be always 0. Okay, why why we are finding f of x and g prime of x, g of x? We have to find them first and then apply them in our formula. Okay? So g prime of x. Let's find g prime of x. What is g prime of x? It is derivative of g of x. And g of x is square root of 5 minus square root of x. And to find the derivative of roots, it will be easy for you if you rewrite these roots as a power. So d dx will be 5 minus square root of Oh, sorry, x to the one half to the power of one half. And look, what do we have here? Here we have outer function, this power one half, this quantity and power one half is outer function. And we have inner function, the, express, the expression inside the parenthesis. So if we have outer function and inner function, to find the derivative, we will use the chain rule. So this is a formula for the chain rule. So you have to find the derivative of outer function first times the derivative of inner function. So let's do that. So here, let's find it. So derivative of outer function, we can use power rule here because we have only power one half. So one half in front of the parenthesis, that, that will be one half times five minus x to the power of one half to the power of subtract one, it is negative one half. So one half in front and subtract one, and we will have this expression. So that is a derivative of outer function in a chain rule. Now we need to multiply the result with a derivative of inner function. So what uh, times derivative of inner function? Derivative of 5 is 0, so we don't write it. And derivative of minus x to the 1 half, so we can use here just power rule again. So 1 half in front and subtract 1, and we will have minus 1 half x to the minus 1 half. Okay, we finished our derivative on g prime of x, g prime of x, and now we need to use algebra to simplify it. So we can do that, equals to, so we can multiply this negative one half and one half, that will be negative one fourth times, and now we need to rewrite these negative powers as positive powers, and they must go to the denominator. So numerator will be one over, and this expression goes to the denominator, five minus x to the one half, and power will be positive one half. Okay, times, next, 
we uh, we have x to the minus one half so this this minus one half already multiplied with one half right we we got this negative one fourth now we need to uh, write this expression without negative power that will be one over x to the one half okay this is this is g prime of x okay this one f of x and now we will apply these results to our quotient rule quotient rule okay let's get started so when we use quotient rule denominator denominator will be squared so denominator is square root of 5 minus square root of x will be squared and in the numerator we have f prime of x times g of x so what is f prime of x f prime of x our f prime of x is 0 times g of x g of x is this expression square root of 5 minus square root of x and we have minus here minus minus g prime of x times f of x okay what is our g prime of x g prime of x is this expression and this is negative okay minus so we can multiply them uh, all these three fractions and they all them all of them will be in the denominator so four times x to the power of one half times 5 minus x to the 1 half to the power of 1 half okay times g prime of x g prime of x times f of x and f of x is is 1 okay this is it now we need to just simplify this our result okay use algebra simplify it so i will start simplifying here so it goes let's let me write here okay let me write here from from this point okay now now as you can see here zero times this expression everything will be zero minus times minus will be plus okay that will be just a positive number one times one times this expression will be the same expression in the denominator square and square root cancels so we will have so we will have our denominator will be 5 minus square root of x so our denominator 5 minus square root of x numerator will be just this expression so that will be 1 over 4 x to the 1 half okay and then 5 minus x to the 1 half to the 1 half okay and now uh, let me write this root also one half okay that will be the power power one half that will be also power one half okay and we need to simplify a little bit so we can multiply both numerator and denominator by the reciprocal of denominator and reciprocal of denominator is 1 over 5 minus x to the 1 half okay so you have to multiply both numerator and denominator times 1 over 5 minus x to the 1 half okay and here denominator this this expression and this expression cancels so denominator will cancel it it will be just one and numerator will be since these two expressions are similar this two x five minus x to the one half five minus x to the one half and 
if you write the power for this quantity it will be just one right so because it's power one and we don't have to write it but we will write uh, this one to simplify it a little bit so it will be so denominator is gone we don't have denominator anymore and in the numerator we have a fraction and numerator will be one times one is one and denominator will be four times and x we can write as a root so square root of x is power one half and these two expressions since they are similar when we multiply the powers will be added okay so uh, powers will be added then we will have five minus this one half, one half we can write as square root of x and powers one half plus one is three half. Okay. Now powers will be three half and this will be our result.